Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Aterna Noctis. I have looked at this room again, and I just don't see a solution. If And I think that has to be true. If if you have to enter this portal from below, or the the the, the, the starting portal, I suppose, uh, from below, in order to have upward momentum coming out of this one to get to the skill point, then really there are only two portals in this entire upper section here that you can enter from below, and both of them you do enter from below as part of the normal solution, so that just can't be it. So I'm guessing... I even went down and, and checked these portals again, but that's really just a one-way uh, a one-way trip from down here to up here. Right, so if there is not something more, more complex or more tricky going on, then maybe it is just a matter of getting the next ability that we're probably... we probably technically could already get. And, you know, uh, you know, traverse those light damaging fields safely. I guess I'll heal here. Yeah, sure, why not? Hmm. Next pillar of light. You wanna happen? Maybe? Gonna make me wait around again? <laughs> there, of course, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll wait, it's fine. It's not like I have a choice. Hiccuping a little bit as I try to scroll? No, I don't know. Alright. <clears throat> Moving on. I kick those guys off my platform. Um, how? Wait. Oh, bounce pad. That would do the trick. Um, okay. Guess that works. Um, yeah. Doesn't look like we can't do, do anything on that side, so once again we bounce up. Kick those guys off. Grab the next checkpoint. Yeah, there's one of those. Those guys there. That's another instance of me hitting the trigger, which dodges, even though I was really trying to attack. Okay, that guy died? Oh, I guess... Hmm. I didn't think one hit was enough for these big guys, but apparently it was in that case. Yeah, you're gonna shoot. And I'm gonna miss. Oh, hey, I'm gonna end up up here though again. I guess I'll use another potion. That's what I have them for. And just in time to have to wait for another pillar. Part of me kind of wants to, kind of hopes that we'll deactivate whatever is going on here. Once we reach the top, but then again, once we reach the top, we don't really need to anymore. Don't need that deactivated. Except, of course, there are a few items, I guess, to pick up along the way. So, I guess that we could make that a little bit more convenient. Not that it's usually a big deal, it's just, you know, making me wait. Is this a, a throne? It totally is. Okay, so I was almost there, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, but still. I mean, if I hadn't messed around with that puzzle as much as I did, and, uh, you know. Alright, I have not actually triggered this even once. At least, not that I know of. Instant recovery. Pretty sure there was a tutorial about that at some point. Pretty sure it's actually just yeah hitting the the dodge button right out of a out of a hit stun or something. Hmm. Anyway, 
Oh yeah, we did get this, but yeah, no. We don't need that. I don't think that's gonna help that much, but um, what might help is actually getting another major ability. What is down here? Oh, that's another mine, right? It's just not not mapped right now. Well then, uh, please? There you go. Oh, stop! You can't expect me to let you into my library without first hearing one of my best quotes. Listen, my friend. Okay. Do we actually have to? Nope, but sure. Do you have anything new, though? One of my favorite volumes is the one that tells how chaos imprisoned you and the dame's soul for all eternity. I perfectly remember every moment, every movement of my pen as I describe the process. I can't help but think about these pages from time to time. They are here in case you are interested. No, thank you. I remember it too. The pain was excruciating. The extraction of a soul is a very delicate process. Once the pure essence has separated from its vessel, it must be introduced into a new receptacle, living or inert. The Supreme God deposited your souls in two cradles, one in the Tower of Light, the other, the other in the Abyss. Exactly. And there they will remain, cursed and chained, ensuring that balance rules over Eterna. That's how it is written. You love your job. Hmm. But, I mean... Hmm. I guess it's not as easy as just going there and, you know, reclaiming our souls, or else... Um, you know, we, that is, the King of Darkness and Queen of Light, would have done that, I guess. Unless they're happy with the current situation? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they are. They're okay with... Uh, ruling the entire, I don't know, maybe not the entire universe, just this world? Is it a planet? Is Iterna? What is Iterna, really? And there's all this talk of, you know, things all across the entire cosmos, so who knows? Maybe Iterna is not just one world, but... Yeah, anyway. Maybe they're okay with, you know, just, uh alternatingly ruling anything, really. Maybe a very large portion of reality. Maybe all of reality. Even if it means occasionally dying, you know. It's a small price to pay. Plenty of checkpoints. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. I guess I, yeah, could have landed on that wall, or, well, landed on the wall, you know, clung to that wall. But actually, you have to be kind of careful. There you go. Hit that. Oh, that opens that wall all the way down there interesting um why why did i not i don't know <laughs> react differently who knows who is to say there should have dashed right away and then i missed the platform anyway Finally. Oh. This just keeps going. Is it, are there just two alternate paths? Okay, we... Yeah, obviously we still don't have a map for these places, but... Hmm. What did we open that thing for? Oh, is this just a mirror frame? I guess so. And that opens that. Okay. Oh, that's a... That just looks like a blood vessel, though. Doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe these challenges don't always unlock major abilities. Maybe some of them just give you a bunch of minor upgrades. Or, well, I suppose technically the mirror fragment isn't an upgrade, but you know what I mean. Collectibles. 
Um, okay, yeah. Blend it on that. That's That works, I guess. We open another door? Yep. Okay. So I guess we had to complete pretty much the entire loop in order to open up all the... Oh, that's tight. In order to open up all the... Uh... Oh, wow. I didn't expect to, to hit that. That is tighter than expected, to be honest. Should I just try to squeeze past? Hmm. Great, now I'm just gonna die because... Well... Okay, Jesus. Ooh, at least we got this checkpoint. Ah, oh, no. Well, that's fine. Because we just respawn right there. And in fact, we never lost our stuff because I guess our soul fragment thingy just spawned right on top of the checkpoint. Um, yeah, anyway. So we, we had to pretty much complete the entire loop, both sides of this, to hit all the switches. And getting the, the mirror fragment at the apex was pretty much just a bonus. But is this really just gonna be for either exit portal? Oh. Is this really just gonna be for a blood vessel though, or is it something else? It just look kind of similar. That's a bit of a tight jump. Okay. Just had barely enough height. Wait, how? Oh. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> hmm. No. Uh, I was just about to say, you know, if, if we die here, we're gonna have to climb all the way back up. There are no safe platforms to spawn on. It's okay though, it's, <laughs> it's obviously not difficult. Not even difficult. No, what, what was that? How did I, I don't even know how I managed to just fall straight down. I thought I pressed to the side, I, okay, and now I'm just getting Super sloppy for no reason. Of course I would nail it the first time around. And then never again. Okay, I don't know why I sometimes just fall off the wall. I mean, I, I know why it happens. Because I start pressing to the side before jumping. But I was trying to correct myself back to the wall and it just didn't happen. I just fell and there I... The thing happened that I expected to happen a while ago. Where I just... Uh, didn't quite jump high enough to get the get to that platform. Okay, maybe I should just stop talking. In general, that's probably a good idea. Because I'm just talking complete nonsense. Okay. That's just gonna happen occasionally. Especially if I don't focus. Okay. I knew I wasn't high enough there. I knew it. Oh my god, just don't just walk off platforms now. Now I'm just getting frustrated, which is not helping. I know I can do better. Obviously I've done better before. And here I am just messing up the easiest jumps. You know, messing up hard jumps, that's one thing. But easy ones, please. Ah, and here we are again. I don't even... Yeah, yeah, okay. My brain just completely stopped functioning there for a second. <laughs> I was just not... <sighs> Can I start this entire thing over? This entire Let's Play? Is it too late? Can I just choose not to play this game? No, that's... That's not actually what I wanted to. I am enjoying it for the most part. I'm not enjoying my performance of it. 
Especially these last couple of episodes have been rough. I don't know why. Okay, you have to actually downward attack. These are not the bounce pads from the tower. I know that. I've bounced on them several times before, and I was just right at the end here. And it was all just for a blood vessel. No ability. Okay, I mean, that's good to know. But it is also a little bit disappointing, not gonna lie. I really thought that these, these were always gonna be major abilities, but nope. I suppose that does explain why there are so many of them. You know, m more portals than there are abilities. <sighs> no skill points. Yeah, level ups have definitely slowed down significantly. But that's okay. Okay, still not a single score sheet. That's interesting. Do you have anything interesting to add? Being a chronicler means that I will never receive an unexpected gift or a surprise party. Oh, that's that's good, though. Gotta hate surprise parties. In all these cycles, I've never had a proper birthday. Okay, well, that's... Hmm. Sorry to hear that. But really, surprise parties are not something you should... You should wish for. I don't know. Does anyone enjoy surprise parties? Like, that's honestly one of my personal nightmares. Just coming home and... You know, there are people... <laughs> with... <laughs> in, 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 you know, little silly party hats and throwing confetti at me. And shouting surprise. It's a literal nightmare. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Uh, what are we trying to do? I guess we are still climbing the tower, huh? Yep. So, no dealing with those light fields again. But maybe, just maybe, we'll get that ability at the top of the tower. Because it, it definitely feels like the perfect area to, to get something like that, right? Where, if not here, would be perfect to, you know, learn how to not die from from too much light exposure. Oh, it's up here. Is that just a way up? Yes. Oh, we're still... What? How am I... What? I was scrolling up this entire time. Okay, I wasn't fully zoomed out, but still. Jesus, okay. Yeah, fully zoomed out, it's... Okay. It's not quite that extreme, but... Yeah, we're about two-thirds up. Oh, hi. The light crystal absorbs the energy from the cradle and powers the tower. Oh, this is the cradle? Is this where the Queen of Light's soul is being held? And of course, the sword protecting the soul of its eternal owner. I thought I would be luckier this time, and it'd not be around. No one said this was easy. Uh, what exactly does this mean for us? Eternal sword? Oh, that's that's one huge sword. I didn't even realize that's what I was looking at. Interesting. But can you see the rest of the sword below in the background? Not really. You really just see the hilt, and it's not even on the map. Interesting. Okay. What's this area called? Path to Ascension. Light Crystal. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like we can interact with that at all. Also, this is... M oh. Um. That's not good, is it? Are we fighting you? What is happening? I was just about to say that... Oh, dear. Okay, that's locked to the camera, actually. When you scroll the camera up, the sword also moves. Interesting. Um, yeah, I was just, just about to say that this room is significantly narrower than... That just happened on its own, basically. Narrower than the lower sections. So... What the heck is going on? <laughs> so, um... There couldn't really be uh, the light pillar happening, right? Because there is not enough room to hide from it. What the heck is going on? I guess it's just rampaging in the background there. No matter what I do, clearly. Even if I just stand still. But is it actually... Does it actually hurt me? Do I have to... I mean, I can't really dodge that huge thing. And it just slashes across the entire room, right? Oh, okay, it will attack me like that, I guess? I'm guessing that was an attack. Huh. Interesting. Um... 
down. Wait, oh, yeah, we can drop down through this. And somehow end up right in the light field. Oh my god. No, not like this. I also thought I still had two health, but maybe not. makes a bit more sense. Okay, let's try not to die here. Good. More of these shenanigans, huh? It's gonna drop us there, and then back into that portal, and up this way. Okay. Unnecessarily complicated. Sure, whatever works. Okay. Bye, giant sword. Pathway. Also, super dramatic music, also quite loud, so... Oh, actually, you know what? Music did feel a little bit loud at times in the previous episode. Compared to my own voice, such as it is. Oh, something's going on with the, with the map there. I think I'm going to lower music volume by one notch. That might be just a little bit more balanced. So there's my heal. Oh god, okay. Uh, that somehow worked out. Sword friend. Oh, I was looking at the sword and not at the platform. Oh boy. Okay. It's not really attacking yet. Just floating there, watching. Very menacing. I gotta say. No collectibles at all in, in these sections. Oh, okay, I guess now it's starting to attack? Where do you want me to go? I guess just to the middle here. Then down through here, and oh, uh, further down, please. Okay. Or not. Complaining that those sword sections are way more dramatic than actually difficult. Because I'm certainly struggling enough even with things that are, shouldn't really be that difficult. Don't get out of there. Okay. Okay, so potion as well. <laughs> that was close. checkpoint and another sword section, no doubt. You can just climb the walls here? Well, not really. Okay. Getting aggressive a bit sooner this time. I th thought there was a platform to land on. I guess I was wrong. Can we not just climb? No, I guess we can't really. Pretty much have to go up this side. What? Oh, I, I jumped into that. So I'll sneak in like that. Yeah, 
I thought I was cutting it a bit closer. I should have been holding right a bit sooner. Or just waiting. Oh boy, what? <laughs> Good thing this is all just happening automatically. Because <laughs> I sure hope you don't expect me to react here. Okay, good. The summit. Heaven's doors. Where am I? Okay, there. There I am. And now we have the actual boss fight against the giant sword, huh? What? I'm getting sucked into the middle, toward the middle of the room here. It's not really much of a room, is it? Um, okay. That was interesting. Um, well, that's mean. Okay. Thankfully, you only have to hit that once, I guess. What? Excuse me? Oh, uh, how are you supposed to dodge that? Oh, okay. Hmm, I, I guess I'm not gonna use my potions, because I don't know if that those got refilled. Probably not. Oh god, okay, uh... Hmm, I mean, there's a potion. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna use one now, of course. I feel like this. Oh god. Um, okay. Here it's gonna aim at you. No? no it's, maybe it's trying to lead me a little bit. Okay, this is the easiest to dodge by far so far. Platforms? Oh, it's gonna. No, yes, platforms actually. Oh god. Um, I don't know how much time you have. Okay. Enough, apparently. Did not give me enough blood to heal though. So you want to, yeah. That, oh, you can't still land on the sword itself. That's rough. Wow, actually, wait. <laughs> hmm, I guess I can. I can't use my, my dodge into the portal or else I'm going to fall out not being able to dodge and then I won't be able to get away from the sword. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, we're going to start with this one right away. Or I, I suppose I can probably land in this portal, right? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, there are smarter ways to handle this. Land on that? Okay, yeah, that does protect you from the sword, if you land in it precisely. Okay, first set of platforms. Wait for the first set of explosions, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't like this one. This is surprisingly rough. Okay. Are we good? Ooh. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Are we safe on the first platform here? Yes. Kind of. Okay. Heal. Please do the stabby thing. Awesome. Basically just move back and forth. Okay, it's, it's trying to catch you. Okay. Uh, that works. That works for me. Okay. Yeah, we're doing that again. That's honestly... Maybe it's not that bad. You just do tiny little adjustments like this. It's kind of working out, for the most part. Uh-oh. I don't know how I didn't take damage there, or there. Uh, okay, but then I ended up taking damage there. I guess it's fine. Two more hits, huh? Can we do it? We'll see. Explosions. Um, okay, that's kind of mean. I hope I have enough time here to do some dodging around. Almost missed that one. <laughs> that would have been tragic. Heal. And we got my favorite phase. Oh god, oh god, the sword. It's so long. 
Stay in the middle, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, did we do it? I mean, I still have to land the hit, but... This, honestly... Shouldn't be that hard. I guess I could have crossed to the other side, actually. Well, GG, maybe? If this really is it, then that was not such a bad fight. But I guess I should not be talking yet. Well, yeah, okay. Vertiginous reached the top of the light tower. And I guess we're done here? I did press B when the, when the prompt was there. Not sure why you decided to use the scythe instead. Oh, that again, huh? The cycles of light and darkness followed one another and continued their reign over Aeterna in chaotic harmony. The chaotic harmony. Hmm. The eternal cycle of night and day. Battle by battle. Life and death. Okay. At the peak of the battle. With the queen kneeling before the king, awaiting the killing blow, she glimpsed a shadow of doubt in his eyes. She gathered the little light she had left, snatched up the sword at her feet, and in one first swoop, penetrated the body of her nemesis, who faded away under her impassive stare. She was astonished she did not feel euphoria. Instead, a strange sadness gripped her soul, as if a longing older than time itself had awoken inside her. The years became centuries, and the king never returned. Hmm. Equilibrium had been destroyed, and the world became submerged in an era of unparalleled light, whilst in the tormented soul of the queen, a question resounded with a thunderous echo. What was that shadow of doubt I saw in the king's eyes? She was confused, and since the king would not be keeping his date with destiny, she decided to embark upon the search for an answer. Alone against all opposition, she began her journey to an uncertain destiny. She entered the depths of Aeterna, reaching the doors of the abyss. She unsheathed her sword, ready for battle. And to her surprise, the doors opened. Inside, terrible beasts made way for her to pass. At the end of the dark path was the cradle of the soul of the cursed king. Inside, the fallen monarch was seated on his throne, impassive. Life after life. Life. The eternal cycle of night and day. Glance after glance, their souls crossed, and she suddenly understood everything. She had always known the answer deep inside, but had never accepted it. Their rivalry through the cycles of war had given way to something more intense. Okay. Pure light and darkness. Once eternally at war, united and created a new, living, ethereal being. Neither night nor day, neither light nor darkness. It was the Grey Soul. When did all of this happen? <laughs> so the so much for the eternal cycle. Apparently not so eternal after all, because all they needed to do was just. Stop fighting. Just decide to stop fighting. But... <laughs> we are fighting again? Obviously, at the beginning of the game, they were clashing in the sky, and the queen won, and we we crashed to the... to the... to the ground. And decided to start the cycle over again. So... Oh. The first of the fragments. So, what was that? Was it just... That honestly felt like a, like some weird... Fan fiction about the two, um, written by someone in this universe, who you know apparently people do idolize them and and uh, you know worship them as as deities, or something similar. <laughs> hmm. 
I was honestly for for a moment I was thinking that maybe we would we would actually start playing as the Queen of Light, which is something I'm expecting to happen at some point. Um, it just feels right, like that. Uh, it, it feels like that's something that's about to happen, right, or something that will happen at some point, because the two are displayed, uh, you know, side by side. Uh, on the um, you know in, in all of the the key artwork of the game, and you know, honestly, if, if anything, it's weird that we start that we play as the King of Darkness and not the Queen of Light, right? She seems like your more typical protagonist. So, yeah. Anyway, I have no idea what that was all about. If that was a glimpse at the future, at something that is yet to happen, because I mean, it doesn't seem like it has happened in the past, or else we wouldn't be doing this, right? Huh. At last, the first of the fragments. And the queen's soul is still chained by chaos. Maybe that was, maybe that was a preview of what's going to happen when we eventually assemble all the fragments and then face off against the queen. And we are about to win, but then we hesitate because apparently we love her, and uh, she takes that that moment's hesitation and and kills us instead, only to then you know, only for then things to happen the way we just saw. The Queen's soul is still chained by chaos, just like mine. Some things will never change. Never. For now, I guess we grab this. Shrine Fragment obtained. Okay. Can't move. Celestial Companion obtained. Hello? The Celestial Companion. I can use its energy to shoot light arrows. Instruments created by the power of the Queen. They serve as ranged weapons and to activate target switches. That's how we interact with those things. I can shoot them holding down and releasing Y and direct the shot with the left stick. Okay. Besides, if while holding Y I also press B, I will get stuck and will be able to direct the shot without moving. Oh, boy. Its power is so pure, it will allow me to improve my arrow skills without limit. You say so. Uh, so, we hold that. Okay. Interesting. Wait. Set. Oh, okay, I was not ready to shoot yet. You only have a certain amount. Uh, you cannot keep targeting indefinitely. So, I'm just holding the button, and yeah, you will fire after, like, three seconds or so. And by holding both... Y and B, yeah, I can stop moving. Otherwise, I'm gonna still keep moving slowly, which honestly is almost as good. Okay. Well, that's how we interact with those switches. That's good. I guess we will never fully map these these areas. I guess that was basically a scripted sequence at the end of it there. Um, yeah, there are also no things to find there, I'm pretty sure, so it's fine. What is this portal about, though? Hold on. Wait, what is this portal about? Is that where we fell out? Oh, that's probably just where we fell out after the fight. Okay. Got another big portal right here. Come on, I'm pressing B. And that's um, what that portal is for. All right. Huh. Okay, so where... Are there switches? Also, oh, that's the uh, the old um, armor. Well, he, he called himself an armor, but he really is just he's a weaponsmith, right? From the far east of this world, I guess. I mean, he didn't say that he was from the east. Maybe in this world, it's it's the far west. Who knows? Um, well, we've come across a couple of those yellow switches. I know one for sure, but the others, maybe not so much. Hmm. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to deliver this first fragment? We can take it to the shrine to find out where the others are. Ah, okay, so I guess... Or find them on my own. Hmm, interesting. So I could choose to just collect all of them. I don't have to to bring them back one by one. But doing so, I guess, would mark the next location on my map. Honestly, I'm just going to do that. I will still almost certainly... I mean, if nothing else, having it marked on my map will ensure that I that I do everything else I can before heading there, right? And don't stumble upon it accidentally. Alright, we also have a bunch of side quests. 
maybe like two of which we can we can just choose to deal with. I mean, for sure we can we can meet up with our archaeologist friend over down here in the ancient pantheon, or we could return to the mines and explore a lot more here. Or well, I don't know how much more, but presumably we could we could explore more. There were definitely at least three pathways I never never checked out. In fact, we could just head down here. Down from here. Let's see, 40 minutes on the clock though? Honestly? Um, it seems like a pretty good ending point. Uh, why is there no teleporter right here? This feels, you know, the bottom of the, of the tower seems like the perfect place to have a throne. There's one down there, but... Hmm. Yeah, this is honestly pretty inconvenient if I... When I will want to eventually return to collect these couple of items. How many even are there? Not that many. And they're all in the lower-ish sections. Well, really? Just these two? I mean, there is a there is the, the throne inside the tower, so I guess that's convenient enough for returning there, but... Hmm. <laughs> From where I am right now? I don't know. You know what? I'll Maybe I'll just... Uh, and down here. This definitely looks so much like a passage that will open at some point, or that there should be some way to open, but I have no idea. Maybe we'll eventually open that up from the other side. You know what? I think I'll, I'll actually listen to my my own reason um, and take a break here, because, yeah, we just obviously defeated the first major boss, the first real boss. Um, collected the first major MacGuffin, and yeah, that's that's and, and had some story revelation, even re revelation, revelation. Even though I'm really not sure how it fits into everything, I'm sure it's gonna make sense eventually. We're gonna learn what that gray soul is all about, if that really is yet to happen, or somehow we just forgot that it happened, and I don't know, repeating the cycle senselessly over and over. I mean, honestly, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all gonna make sense eventually. Um, I guess because it's more convenient than just running over all the way to the next throne, which is... Oh my god, that's all the way here. Yeah, um, instead I'm just going to explore the mines a little bit more, instead of returning the fragment right away. But I will do that before... well, I, I will do that eventually. I'm not choosing to, to collect all seven without any guidance. That's just, That just seems silly. Um, yeah. If we could find the cartographer here, that would be nice to have this place fully mapped, but yeah. Well, I'll just backtrack through the mines next time, and we'll see what we find. For now, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.